Morning, Saints, and welcome to the new year. I'm Gigi Montez. And I'm Bennett Curran. That's right. It's an exciting time of year to start new. What are your New Year's resolutions? Well, we hope whatever your goals are this year, we pray you have a prosperous and healthy new year. With that said, we need to get into major news hitting our NDP Live news wires. First off, the guys will be excited to hear this little bit of news. NDP will be holding a manuary contest. Yep. It's the perfect excuse to throw those razors away, and all for a good cause. It's to raise awareness for prostate and testicular cancer research. All you need to do to enter is pay $25 to Mrs. Beers in the comm by tomorrow. You must be clean shaven when you submit payment. Money will go towards the American Cancer Society. And for the guys who can actually grow a full on beard, prices will be awarded. Hurry though, the contest ends February 7th, so you better start growing. Listen up all students, especially juniors. On Thursday, January 23rd, NDP will host our annual Junior Parent College Information Evening, taking place in the cafeteria. This opportunity is a chance for students and parents to educate themselves on ACT and SAT prep courses, college financing, letters of recommendation, timelines, and more. Just go to ndpsaints.org for more detailed information. Speaking of college prep, it's a good idea to set those reminders to take the practice ACT test if you haven't done so already. The NDP Counseling Department will offer the practice ACT on campus at 8.45 a.m. on Saturday, February 8th. The cost to attend is $25. Just go to ndpsaints.org to find out how to register. Now, onto athletic news. Today is a big day for our basketball players. They're not only bringing their A-game to the court against McClintock here on home court, they're also taking some time out of their schedules to bring some joy to the hearts of U.S. military troops around the whole world. This is for sure a great story. Every NDP basketball player from all three team levels will honor our military troops by writing letters thanking them for their service. The letters will be included in care packages sent through Packages from Home to U.S. men and women deployed around the world. There will also be free cookies and water for anyone in attendance at the game who writes a letter at halftime. Postage is the largest expense to packages from home. So if anyone wants to donate a book of stamps, team moms will be available to collect them at the game. Go Saints! So it's that time of year again where we begin to ponder what our summers might look like. Yeah, I know, it's months away, but before we know it, the end of the semester will be here before long, and if you're starting to think ahead about how you can participate in Christian service, you should listen up to this next announcement. As you may know, NDP takes students every year to Peru and Tanzania starting in May, all the way through June. It's an amazing opportunity to travel, explore, and help those in need across the world. To learn more about joining one of these trips, make sure to show up at the CCI on Tuesday, January 14th from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. to get detailed information on what to plan for. And yes, you get Christian service hours for attending either one of these trips. It's now time for our favorite segment of the week, Students of the Week. We want to congratulate Mary Stahlkamp and Emily Roduin for making it to the All American Dance Parade in Rome, Italy over Christmas break. To learn more about their trip and what all exactly happened, Jagger Jones sat down to learn more about this extraordinary opportunity. I'm Emily. I'm Mary. And we recently went to Rome. We went to Rome um, as a part of an All American group for me for Palm and Emily for Cheer. Um, and then we went to Rome to cheer in the New Year's Day Parade. During summer camp, um, many people were selected to try out to be an All-American and then um, they had a final tryout and both of us were selected and for All-American you have the opportunity to go to Rome. So we were performing in the parade and we performed the dance eight, er, 13 times and it was just amazing seeing all the little kids like dancing with us in the streets and people were cheering with us, cheering along with us. And it was just incredible to see all the people, especially like they were speaking Italian and, and we were speaking English, but we were able to communicate through that and through dance also. It was a really cool experience. Like 
it's something that we'll never be able to do again, probably. Um, we toured a lot of different sites. So we went to like the Vatican, which was pretty cool. I know for me, just cause we go to a Catholic school. So like getting to see everything that like we've talked about in class. Um, and then we did like the Colosseum, the Forum, um, just a lot of like historical sites that you read about, but you never actually like imagine seeing them. So seeing it was a really unique experience. And then um, being in the, in the New Year's Day parade was something that is like a once in a lifetime thing. Um, just going down the streets, there was just a, Italians just screaming at you in Italian and just asking for pictures, which is like something that doesn't really happen here. It's not like we have something like that. So it for me, it was a really like heartwarming experience. Congratulations, you two. We actually have a teacher of the week this week as well. We want to congratulate NDP's choral instructor, Mrs. Hudson, who has been invited to New York's Carnegie Hall, where she will be an instructor for their 2020 Honors Performance Series, happening later this month. She will assist students in the program, three of whom are from Notre Dame Prep. To top it all off, she will learn from master conductors and in the process enhance her own professional development. Way to go, Miss Hudson. We're so lucky to have you here at NDP. Well, that's it, Saints. Thanks for watching NDP Live's video announcements. See you next week. Bye, Saints.